Hello, everybody. I'm Henry Li, BlueHeronArts.com. Now uh, I'd like to show you a process of recarving an existing seal. Um, here is the seal we have. I got from the client in New York. Uh, the owner is a student in Japanese calligraphy um, study, and uh, uh, he got this seal possibly from a, a Chinatown uh, shop, and they did this. Uh, he said he does not like the mechanic look of a computer font. Uh, actually, I have this font on my computer. Um, and you can find it online. This is a hand script, standard hand script. And uh, the, the, the engraver uh, did not really redesign anything. It's straight from the computer font. And uh, the carving work uh, is possibly done by some kind of drill, a tool like uh, the dentist tour, you know, something like that. Um, I don't have the, any tour uh, like, like that, uh, but uh, uh, the purpose of uh, uh, seal engraving is uh, different uh, between the professional uh, functional seal, you know, uh, this kind of uh, neat seal and the artistic seal that I'm going to show you. So. Uh, I'm going to erase this and replace with uh, my own design uh, here, you can see, uh, compared with the computer font. Uh, this one is done with uh, hand on the computer, but I use a mouse to draw instead of uh, using the font. Uh, so it's like handwriting. And uh, the style I, I use is uh, uh, my impression of Japanese seal, contemporary Japanese seal, is like a sign that, uh, that I see in uh, Japanese restaurant or um, sake bottles. That kind of, uh, um, for me, it's very um, spontaneous. So I like uh, that style. So everything is done uh, organically rather than mechanically. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is erase this seal. Very easy. You can use the sandpaper, just to, uh, sand it like this in a circle, circular movement. And you change size and direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it will be even. Near the end, you can uh, press left and then. Uh, you can also use a finer uh, sandpaper to make it less grainy, shiny, polishing it. <coughs> Some artists uh, uh, collect this uh, powder so you can fill the uh, carved seal to make it uh, visible some, during the process of carving. I just, uh, I don't need that, I think I just dust it off. I got some coupons uh, from uh, my laser jet printer. It has to be a toner ink cartridge, you know, the powder type, not the ink jet. And with this chemical called uh, acetone, it's a uh, nail polish remover. You can also get from other hardware stores. Uh, they use that to remove pens. I fold it to the shape of the stone, give me some guidelines, and uh, just stamp on it. Yeah. Just press, and it will stick on the on the stone and turn it over, let it dry. Um, I use my palm to press it. Don't let it completely dry, so it will be easier to make the stand. You see, this is the perfect uh, imprint. 
I see if I did uh, the laser print on the stone. And uh, now I'm going to do the carving. Okay. I start from the first character, Fu, as in Fuji. This is a, a, a Japanese translation um, of a foreign name in the characters. Um, so Fu represents uh, the, character, uh, the letter F in, in uh, Phillips. I use a big knife, try to do it in one stroke. The design was done with a marker pen in Photoshop. You know, if you use Photoshop, you have different brushes or pens. I try to keep that feeling. Single stroke cut. This is a so sand stone. You can see from the sound, it's harder than the Qingyan kind of stone. It's a nice so sand stone. See, this whole process is spontaneous. I cannot really re repeat everything, but uh, that's the beauty of this. That's why it serves as a simplicity mark. You cannot repeat, supposedly. Some stroke will merge, that's designed. That's be designed. It's kind of hard, so you use some lots of muscle. Feel my power. So the left hand also uses uh, quite much force to hold it. So you actually use both hands to carve. And the second character is river. Pronounce the E in Japanese. It's a long stroke. The, sec the third character is uh, D, uh, represent the letter L. Uh, this is happened to be a Chinese last name, the same as mine. So I'll, I'm very familiar with it. You can do all the horizontal line in one uh, one time, and then shift the stone to do the vertical lines.
good. Now the last character B. represents the sound of P in Japanese there's no sound uh, similar to P A P E or P I but uh, only B. Okay, so Philip this is a kind of a uh, uh, comb used both by male and female. Doesn't mean anything in the name. It's just nice the character. It's a bamboo uh, radical on top. See my design. Well, the stone is kind of dark, so I try to cover it from my uh, because I I was major in archaeology, uh, studied ancient script, so that helps this. So I can carve without seeing the design. See the variation in width in uh, handwriting, the uh, difference between handwriting and computer font. Computer font make uh, all the character strokes are the same, but uh, in handwriting we lift and press the brush. In this case, my knife is the brush, so it varies. That cre create a rhythm in calligraphy. the pronunciation of the uh, character, the phonetic uh, part, phonetic part. Dance part make it dance as if there's no space for a needle, and sparse part make it sparse as a, if you can rein a horse. That's the same in Chinese uh, seal engraving art. So some part is really dance, and uh, some uh, contrast with sparse space, negative space. The idea so we have uh, okay now I'm going to work on this uh, margin which is a very important part of the design make it uh, look ancient uh, seal uh, antique seal as if it is uh, eroded.
can knock it, but uh, uh, I'll just uh, uh, do it naturally. That's the challenge part. Make it look like a not man-made, but uh, it's natural. Maybe with time erosion or something like that. So um, it's time to clean up and uh, uh, make some fine tuning and uh, uh, initial imprint. Okay, now I'm going to do the initial imprint. This is the computer uh, graphic design I, I did with the mouse. This is the real thing. polishing just to make it uh, smoother. And the polishing sometimes takes more time than the carving. Believe it or not, that's uh, um, very time consuming. Basically, I try to make the strokes more uh, even, some part. Some strokes are supposed to be uh, merged. I need to make them broader.
Second imprint. Oops, it's upside down. It's getting closer. Um. Press even air and the heart. Lift carefully. So you will not get blurred. I like that. Official imprint. for Philip.
Okay, um, we have another seal for Philip to go. I hope you stay tuned and uh, uh, thank everybody for watching. And hopefully it helps if you like to try your own hands in this uh, seal engraving art. And uh, thank Philip also for your recommendation of the book on history and the art of Chinese seal. Thanks. Bye bye.